Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Wednesday's Thought for the Day. The Lord's Supper is not just about our vertical relationship with God. It's also about our horizontal relationship with one another. So we don't just look back or look up at the Lord's Supper. We also look around. Fellowship is a really important part of it. Now, in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, Paul rebukes the church for not looking around as they take the Lord's Supper. He writes in verse 18, I hear that when you come together as a church, there are divisions among you. In Corinth, they had no church building. and They would have met in the home of one of the church's richer members. They would get together for an actual meal and then have communion, that is bread and wine, as part of it, perhaps at the end. But people arrived at different times, perhaps depending on their work. So it seems that wealthy members of the church were able to arrive early and eat the food and perhaps even get drunk. They left nothing for the poorer members, perhaps manual labourers, who came later. So that explains, I think, why Paul writes in verse 21. For when you are eating, some of you go ahead with your own private suppers. As a result, one person remains hungry and another gets drunk. Don't you have homes to eat and drink in? By going ahead with their own meal, not caring for the less well-off church members, the elite of the church were missing the point. It had become their meal and not the Lord's meal. And Paul is scathing of their behaviour. He writes in verse 22, do you despise the church of God by humiliating those who have nothing? So later on, Paul writes in verse 33, so then, my brothers and sisters, when you gather to eat, you should all eat together. They should eat in such a way that reflects genuine love and unity. And that's the principle we must apply ourselves to. At the Lord's Supper, we're to look around and recognise that together we're all part of the body of Christ. In fact, Paul had earlier written chapter 10, verse 17, Because there is one loaf, we who are many are one body, for we all share the one loaf. That's why, for example, at present, after the bread has been delivered to the pews, we all eat it at the same time because I want us to express our unity together in that way. That's also why, uh, pre-coronavirus, when we came to the front to receive the Lord's Supper, we would receive it a group at a time. We stand together and we encourage to pray for one another both before and after receiving the bread and wine. It's why we also would share the peace to recognise we are part of the body of Christ. Despite all our differences, wonderfully, Jesus unites us. So at the Lord's Supper, we look around. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, please help us to remember as we take the Lord's Supper that together we're part of the body of Christ. May we always seek to maintain that unity in Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Have a good Wednesday. See you tomorrow.